Well, Mike, uh, the, uh, for nearly three days, the U.S. federal government uh, was shut down, most of it, of course, the weekend. On Monday, uh, uh, federal employees will return back to work. Uh, they were without pay. It's expected that they will get back pay. Um, lawmakers agreed on a temporary uh, funding bill to get the government uh, back and running. This was a long time coming. Extension after extension had been passed. But when it came down to things on Friday, the U.S. Senate just didn't have the votes to keep the money flowing. This is politics. Nothing is black and white. Republicans are blaming Democrats. They said Democrats risked the livelihood of federal workers and military service members to prove a political point and to embarrass the president. Democrats blamed Republicans, who they said refused to hold a debate and vote on key issues that Republican leaders promised would get their day in the sun, namely DACA, the so-called Dreamers Act, which protects immigrants who arrived in the U.S. unlawfully as children, some 800,000 of them now registered with an Obama-era program that Trump has threatened to scrap. They now face deportation. And CHIP, a federally funded health insurance program for some 9 million low-income children that expired on Friday. In the end, some 60 hours into the showdown, a bipartisan group of centrist Democrats and Republicans joined forces. They pushed for a bill to reopen the government, and they succeeded. Today is the day to celebrate because we have shown that a determined group of senators working together across the aisle can result in positive action. I'm only going to say this. The system must change. The rules of the Senate have to change. I'm speaking for myself, not for our bipartisan group. This is me. I don't believe that either leader on either side should have the powers that they have. Susan Collins there, the Republican, and Joe Manchin, the Democrat. Now, many Democrats on the so-called uh, uh, progressives, the left of the Democratic Party, say that the party leadership caved. They say they sold out the so-called dreamers to Republican leaders who failed to deliver on promises in the past. Mike? Roy, we heard uh, Susan Collins saying this is a day to celebrate, but you mentioned it's just a temporary move. I mean, we could be right back where we are right now in, what, 17 days? That's right. February 8th, this funding will expire. But remember, Republicans control the White House and both houses of Congress. They set the agenda. They set what's discussed and what's voted on. A threat of a shutdown is really the opposition's only way to force their hand. That's what they'll claim they did, and they'll say it worked, that they got the assurances they were looking for, including from the president. Donald Trump keeping away from the camera these past three days, instead putting out this statement on Monday. He said, once the government is funded, my administration will work towards solving the problem of very unfair illegal immigration. We will make a long-term deal on immigration if and only if it is good for our country. And that's really Trump's caveat there. What he and Republicans think is good for America might not be something that Democrats are willing to swallow. So, of course, we could be back here in the same place again very soon.